Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to this video in the Squirrel Saw Pattern Design Series. This tutorial, we're going to be looking at 3D patterns such as these. These two on the right are from Diana Thompson, very, very talented designer. And these two, I'm not sure who these belong to, but I'm not trying to sell these patterns to anybody, so I'm just use, using the picture. So, we're going to be making a pattern similar to this one. Now my goal is to make this in under five minutes from start to finish. Show you how easy this is done. And we're going to be using software called Corel Draw. I have version X3. So let me zoom out just a little bit here. This one is the actual pattern that we're going to be making. One similar to this. You can see how this pattern is pretty close to this one. Different writing of course. Let me pull this down here. So it's the same concept but different pattern. So these can be made to any size that you need. This is looks like a, a small size for a keychain. This one that we're making here is meant to be used like on a desktop or something that you can put on top of maybe top of your TV or something like that. Anyway, let's get started on this. Like I said, my plan is to make this in under five minutes. So I'm going to take this move it to the side. I'm going to delete this one over here so it's not in a way. Let's get rid of this one too. I'm going to move this back up to the top. Get that out of the way so we have no distractions. Let's see. I'm going to let's just go ahead and delete this one. And this is going to be our before or one that we're going to try to make similar to this okay very easy process here so first thing we want to do is make these rectangles right here come over here to the rectangle tool right here on the left go left click left click and drag on my page okay come up here to the pick tool drive up here to the top I want this to be one and a quarter inches by six inches. So I'm just going to change this to six. And this is going to be 1.25. There we go. Okay, you'll see here we have a, a rectangle inside of a rectangle. So I'm just going to left click, come over here to the left hand side. One, two, th the fifth tool from the bottom. You'll need to click on the interactive contour tool. That is done. So here's some of the commands. I'm going to go up here to the top and push inside. And I'm going to put it at an eighth of an inch, which is 0 0.125. You, know, you see what I did there? I changed this to a two. It put two boxes in there. Let's go back down to one. There we go. Easy enough. So I'm going to come back up here to the effects. Nope. Come back up here to the to the text. Insert symbol character. You'll see this came up here to the right. This so I'm going to come up here to Arial Black and just, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm going to come back up here to pull down this slider bar and come down to Wingdings. I'm going to go to Wingdings number two. So now I'm going to pull down the slider bar 
here's the cross that I want, so I'm just going to left click and drag it over. Need to make that smaller, so I'm going to grab this corner node, make it smaller, move it to the inside of this box right here. There we go. You'll see it's, you'll see it's overlapping just a little bit on top and bottom. We'll make that just a little bit smaller. There we go, close enough. And since this is on the edge, or close to the edge, and this one isn't, I'm going to pull this closer to the end over here. So it's going to be approximately the same as this one. Anyway, I hope that made sense. Here we go. Come over here to the font or text tool, left click. Come up here. I'm going to select copper black or cooper black. Left click. Correct. Okay, I'm going to write proud to be. Okay. Come back over here. Have this highlighted with the uh, there we go. Gonna just pull it down here, click that X in the center, and just pull it down here. And I'm gonna stretch this out to size pretty close. I'm gonna pull this. Whoops, grab the wrong one. X out of that. Let me pull this to the end, just like you would do in a Word program. And I'm going to pull this down so it's just barely over that rectangle. Do the same for the top. There we go. Close enough. The bottom needs to come down a little bit further, so let's just drag and pull that down. There we go. Now you'll see every one of these letters is going to be just on the edge of this rectangle here. So I'm going to take this, highlight it, come over to the color palette, left click on white, right click on black. There we go. Okay, now we're going to do the bottom part, which is the word Christian. So I'm just going to take all this. I'm going to arrange group hit the plus button on the numeric keyboard and hit the down button a couple of times okay this is highlighted again I'm going to come back up here to arrange ungroup all okay we're going to highlight this one hit delete come back down here to the word then come back over to the text just like you would do in a word program I'm just going to change this to the word Christian and then I'm going to left click and drag on this one what's well, just over the end well I'm gonna take that back I'm not gonna go all the way to the end I'm gonna make it pretty close to where this one ends and this one ends so let me pull this over a little bit close enough for right now tutorial purposes so go back over to the pick tool left click and drag arrange group now I'm going to come up here and touch these two lines together such as this close enough there we go that is your basic pattern and it is done in just a couple of minutes. So when you're doing your scroll saw work, you want to make your drill holes in all these spaces right here, like the inside of the R, the inside of the A, inside of the D in this area, such as all these gray areas right here are going to be cut out. These areas are, are is the wood which is going to stay which is going to give you the effect of let's see let me come on now computer
there we go this is going to give you the effect of similar to this so very easy process this is done with Krell draw x3 I will be doing some more upgrades to some old videos that I have so please stay stay tuned for those I do appreciate you watching